Back my sophomore year, we had made the sectionals, and um, I started the first game, and we were playing VBS, the um, uh, number one seed. And uh, I started out, I, str I struggled a little bit early. I remember like the first couple innings, I, I wasn't loose, and I think they had scored a run off me early. Um, and then I kind of hit my stride. I ended up pitching um, all 13 innings, 176 pitches that day, and uh, we upset. Uh, the number one seed of uh, VBS. That, that just, that's been in my head forever. The life lessons that I think that I carry with me to this day uh, are loyalty. I mean, we had such loyal teammates. We'd do anything for each other. And the coaches, I mean, the coaches weren't here for a year or two. You know, most of them were here, you know, lifers. Um, the other thing is accountability, you know, we just had coaches that held all kids uh, accountable. We had great athletes here in the 80s when I was here, and no one was treated differently than the other, and everyone was held accountable. I mean, in baseball, I remember, you know, that was my sport, and I was a really good pitcher, but, you know, you were held accountable. You did what everyone did, and, and you didn't get any special preference. So I would say the biggest life lessons is loyalty and accountability. Cherish it while you're here because I still have a ton of friends to this day from when I was at Ludden from both basketball and baseball teams. I still hang out with a lot of them, keep in touch with them. So cherish it while you're here. And the other thing, and I, I say this as a coach too, um, be that person that's the team player. Don't worry about yourself because here at Ludden, it's about team. And don't put yourself in front of the team. It's that, it's that guy that can sacrifice and worry about what's best for the team and not, you know, his success, but it's the team's success. My father, I remember, said to me once, um, um, you know, a, a, an athlete, man, you know, player is, should never be um, looked at, at at his size, but rather the, the size of his heart, you know, because I always fought that stigma, you know, yeah, you're left-handed, but you're five foot eight, you know, you're small, the prototypical guys that make it division one or or go on and pitch professionally or you know six two six four and you look at players nowadays they're all you know big in all sports so that was you know me as an athlete i went by that the other thing i go by is i remember going to see my uh, friend tommy dotter um you know that that i look up to as a baseball coach and i was just kind of frustrated at you know all the attention some of these coaches were getting uh, and he, he said, you know what, Teddy, um, when you compare yourself to others, you become uh, bitter. And when you compare yourself to yourself, you become better. Um, and I kind of thought about that. I'm like, why am I worried about, you know, getting attention? Or why am I worried about these other coaches getting attention? You know, make yourself a better coach and, and, and things will happen.